What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Stranded Deep where we're going to be hanging out trying to find our way around. I found ourselves like a Bodasporg, like look at all this over here. This island at 110 East, oh my god, it gave us so much. So if we wanted to get back home, I'm going to show you how to do this. If you're trying to go the opposite direction of where you are, it seems really, really simple. You just subtract 180 from it, seriously. 180 should put us back in the direction that we want. So if we went 110 East to here, we subtract 180 from it. That should allow us to go 290 West, then we'll be our way back home. Or at least it should be rounds about there somewhere. I think it might be a little bit shallower though because we did have to... Yeah, I think it's actually more than likely a little bit shallower than that. So we'll have right now... This is 290 right there. I think it's that one right there. I'm pretty sure anyways. Almost positive that it's that one right there. So... Let's go ahead and get on into this wreck. I mean, I don't want this whole thing to turn out badly for us, but there are a lot of sharks around. There's a lot of stuff for us. Eh, I don't need another paddle. Don't need a flare. I'm going to leave this stuff behind that I really don't think is going to be that useful. I know some people won't, like, enjoy that, but vitamins? What the hell would vitamins be useful for? Maybe we can get malnourished or something later on? I don't know. Either way, let me go back up for air real fast, because obviously we have to do... Got a little bit of addiction to oxygen. It started off as just kind of like one of those recreational things our character liked to do. And then as time went along, eventually it became like a vital, like, I have to have this. And so, fun, fun, fun. Oh, I have to eat something? I am so weak. That's unfortunate. I have an axe with me, right? Oh, shit. Not you. You go away. I don't like you at all. You stop it, Tiger Shark. This is not the point in the episode where we're going to hang out. I told you we'll hang out later. He's mad. I stood him up at the bowling alley a little while ago. I tried to tell him he wasn't very good at bowling, but he doesn't listen. He just doesn't listen flat out. Oh, anyways, let's go ahead and see if we can find some potato plants up in here. Something to get us feeling a little bit better. We can climb and get some coconuts, too. It's not even a major issue. While we're here, we should probably make another axe in case this one goes the way of the buffalo. Although, I don't know what way buffaloes go, to be honest. I figure west, maybe? I don't know. What direction do buffaloes favor? Be careful with these trees, by the way. Occasionally, like, your character will launch himself off the tree and wound himself quite terribly. Like, basically what you want to do is you want to look at the trunk and press W if you're trying to go up it. And then look at the trunk and press S if you're trying to go down it. If you try and go backwards like this, sometimes he detaches early and breaks a leg. It gets nasty and gnarly very, very quickly. So, over here... I always thought that Harley Davidson should make, like, a motorcycle called the Gnarly, so then it could be the Gnarly Davidson. Maybe I'm just, like, a noob like that. Though. Oh, man, we're kind of hungry right now. Kind of hungry right now. Maybe I should, here. You guys, come join me. Yes. There we go. All right. How quickly does our health fall off when we're like this? Oh, shit, that's not good. All right. Hold on. Let's start restoring our various vitals real fast. Come on. Get in here. I don't want to die right now. We've got a lot of good stuff. That would be awful. Hate dying when I've got good stuff. Alright. Come on, coconuts. You can save me. Right now, with your milky, amazing goodness. A lot of people hate coconut. I meet a lot of people who are like, coconut is the worst thing on earth. And that, I simply must decline. That transaction, I can accept not. Zero. Transaction equal equal false semicolon. In fact, because coconut is delicious. It's amazing. Although I do think it's kind of interesting how different people prefer different things. I've always wonder like what determines that. Like I think that a tomato is the worst thing on earth. Like the taste of a raw tomato is the most disgusting, awful thing ever invented by nature. However, I like tomatoes in other things. So what makes it so that, because I like have people that'll just eat like, or I know people that'll eat a raw tomato. They think it tastes amazing. It's like one of their favorite things. What determines that? Is it just, like, chemistry? Like, how does that occur? We're kind of beat up right now. Our health is not looking so great. That's the most amazing watch ever, by the way, that it can do, like, the job of an entire hospital just by looking at your vitals real fast. I'm going to grab some of this stuff so I can make a new axe in case I need to. And in this episode, it should mostly just be us hitting all these wrecks and having a look around. I didn't realize how low our health was, so now I'm a little bit nervous about hanging out with our sharky friends out there. There are boats everywhere on this island. This island is super rowdy with boats. Where did my axe go? Before anything else goes wrong, I need to get the yuck off this plant. There we go. Now that we have a couple lashings, we can actually make ourselves a new one if we need to. Just in case. Probably throw one together real quick. Keep it on my person. 
Hell, maybe even make another one. I don't know. I'm not going to bring any of this stuff back with me, but hey, it's already here. So there you go. There's a little pile right there. So what I want to do for right now, we're still not regenerating, oddly enough, too. I think when you sleep, it actually lowers your vitals a lot more than if you just, like, wait till the end of the night. That might have been what happened. I'm going to go get another coconut. We'll grab it out of the tree and see if we, if we have max health, you regenerate a lot faster. Like, way, way, way faster. There we go. All right, put you on the ground. I've got a lovely little coconut smackety smack drinking out of your bunghole. I figure it's, it looks like a bung. Doesn't it look like a bunghole? Like, basically a little coconut. I'm not trying to be gross. I'm not saying a butthole. Like, a bunghole is where I feel like I need to explain this right now. So let's let's rewind. Let's just go. We're going to go back. We're going to rewind it real fast. A bung is the thing that you use to stop up the bottom of your bathtub, in case you were wondering. It's called a bung, like that little pluggy thing you put in there. You could put one at the bottom of the sink, too. We just call it a plug now, but it's called a bung. And so technically, a bung hole is the hole that you put the bung in, like in the bottom of your bathtub. And coconuts have that. They have like a little weak circular spot on them where you can drain them out through a little bit easier. So if you only have a pocket knife, be aware that coconuts, eh, smacking them with your pocket knife probably won't open them up. Where did I come in from? I came in, let me get my compass out. We wanted west to 80. So I came in from this direction of Amal, probably on that wreck right there. Would be my best guess for right now. It's the best guess when I go west. I don't know. Got nothing else to go with right now. I think this entire ship over here was kind of like a lost cause, wasn't it? I mean, obviously it's a lost cause. Look at it, it's a wreck. What caused all these ships to crash down in here? I know some people have alluded to the fact that maybe it's the Bermuda Triangle or something like that, and this is where all of the refuse and detritus ends up when the Bermuda Triangle, like, engulfs things and, like, it just, like, sucks them up. I like to think that it makes that noise whenever it abducts somebody. We got another axe, another duct tape, another duct tape. I want the spear gun. I've seen other people with a spear gun, and I'm jealous of their spear gunning skills. Like, I want one, like, right this second so that I can shoot a shark with it. It better one-shot the shark. I mean, I feel like it should one-shot the shark. It just should. It seems like that sort of weapon. I don't think there's anything else over here. Is there anything on the top bunk? No, there's nothing up on the top bunk. It sounds like our sharky friend has decided to join us again. That's okay, though. He's not really that efficient at, like, getting fed. He's okay at it. Like, occasionally they'll take a little nip at me, but not very often. Can I go in this way? No, that one's not openable. Well, fine then. It's an unequitable door. It's not feeling charitable at the moment towards my cause. And, Mike, I feel like my cause is just. I should probably stop draining my health out like that. I'm also a little bit concerned as to why we're not regenerating at the moment. It's a little worrisome. It's a little worrisome. Not like we should be regenerating right now. I'm wondering if our health bugged out by nature of the fact that we slept or something. I don't know. We'll have to wait it out and see. It's also because you lose your health underwater pretty quickly, and I keep taking long dives without... Ooh, a jerry can. Yeah, I'll take that. All right. Jerry can, Jimmy can, Bobby can, whatever. Anybody can if they try hard enough. Let's go down. <laughs> God. Uh, a bit more antibiotics. Yeah, that'll be useful in case I get sick. We got another paddle. Why are there so many paddles? Another pocket knife as well. Since they stack, I might as well bring it along. I'm going to try and keep my oxygen up and in good supply because we've got, like, one tap left on our health. You go away. You go away right now. I don't think he's listening very well. I don't think he wants to. He smells dinner, and he's not going to let it go. I don't know what I should be doing right now. Honestly, we kind of need to wait it out and see if we can get our health back. I think we're bugged, though. Like, it should be visually. You should be able to see yourself regenerating as your health gets lower. So I'm not sure what's going on right now. I think our health might be... I'm not going to say it's bugged, because I feel like that's disingenuous, and I know it frustrates people when I say that. But in my experience, when you're full up like we are right now, you can usually watch your health regenerate. It goes pretty quickly, unless they nerfed it or something, but yeah. As long as there's sharks around, I can't really take a whole lot of risks with our health. Additionally, while our health is that low, I can't go underwater for a long time either, because there's a distinct possibility that I might end up sort of messed up. So... You lose health when you're underwater for too long, so I gotta be careful about it. Where's this shark at? Alright, so once he gets stuck on the boat, I'm gonna make for land real fast. I'm gonna try and keep an eyeball on him, just in case. Hey, swim faster. Sharks don't usually come into the shallows like this. They prefer to not be in the shallows. That's not to say they don't go into the shallows, but in general, they don't, so... Mm. Yeah, our health is not coming back. How weird. Well, if our character coughs or anything, it would give us an indicator as to whether he's sick or not. 
But I don't know why our health isn't regenerating. We should be good right now. It might be due to the fact that maybe there's a longer cooldown on it if you get down to, like, starving. Had I noticed my... Had I noticed my vitals a little bit sooner, I would have handled it, but I didn't. So, there it is. Observational skills don't tend to be my forte in life. Did my other axe break? Okay, that one's still good. We'll drink this coconut. I'm not going to take the antibiotics for right now, because I don't think that I need them. I think the antibiotics are for when you get a cough. I think we got a cough in one of our episodes, didn't we? I don't know, we caught, like, dengue fever or something ridiculous. But yeah, we weren't feeling so good in the previous episode. I'm going to eat this real fast. Alright, there it is. But yeah, if your health is there, it is. It's coming back. Maybe they lowered the speed at which it regenerates. I don't know. Or maybe they put a cooldown on it where you have to go a certain amount of time without getting wounded before it starts ticking up. Either way, in my experience personally, I've always felt like it regenerates pretty quickly. The unfortunate side to all this is that actually we could make a bed if we wanted to. And we could just sleep through the night right here. I think I could do it. It's going to take us a lot of resources, though. Let me see if I can make a bed. If we can make a bed on various islands, it might be helpful in the future. This yucca plant regrew really fast. I think this is the same one that we just slew a second ago. He's like, I know. I did really, really well in my growing classes. You didn't even know we took growing classes, did you? I'm like, nope. I didn't know that plants were scholastic at all. It seems like the educational system might largely be failing all of you. Let me dump off some of this useless stuff. For all the things that we found so far, it's a little disappointing how useless it all is. Like, is there a... So, what's up with the moon right now? It's a little bit dark. It's a little bit dark. We'll come back in just a second, but I need to stack up our stuff over here. This could be like a multi-episode adventure, us just going through each wreck one by one and seeing what we can find. I'm going to ditch the axes over here, ditch the knives, whole bunch of supplies, which is pretty cool. A metal fuel can, which is useful for topping up an engine's fuel tank. Every time I hear the phrase top up, it makes me feel, it makes me like, it reminds me of those random Korean RPGs you play where they're just like grinders. They always call like adding more currency to your account topping up. I don't know if that's what they call it over there, but that's what that phrase reminds me of. Topping up a gas tank. Every time somebody says topping up, it reminds me of like those G potato games. Let me see if I can find the stuff I need in order to make this. I don't know how many sticks we're going to need. I think it's quite a few. It's like six sticks. A number of yucca, like it's it's quite a bit of yucca too as I recall, so we may need to find a secondary plant in here. By the time we get all the stuff together, it may be morning anyways, but making a bed over here seems like a decent plan to me. Anything to get me to the morning a little bit faster, because playing in the dark like this makes me feel oddly inadequate. I don't know, there's probably something Freudian going, of course I didn't bring my knife along with me. Right after I find the ultimate yucca plant. Alright, well... It's not an ultimate yucca plant. There is absolutely nothing special about that yucca plant, no matter what his yucca mama tells him. <laughs> the yucca mama. My god. My god. Alright, well, I'll probably use up one of these pocket knives. I mean, not the most useful item. The pocket knives are okay, and actually it would be a useful item if you were surviving in a situation like this. Having a blade is always kind of a big deal. That's, I, I would actually say that that's one of the reasons if you watch any survival show, almost all of them carry a multi-tool with them, like, everywhere they go because it's the, it's the thing you need to get by. I think I can take this down a little bit lower, too. It regrew pretty fast. Either way, though, how many sticks do I have? Enough. A, a reasonable amount of sticks. I don't remember how many sticks you need, though, to make this work. I think it was a bunch of lashings and a bunch of sticks, and that's about all that I remember. Much beyond that, couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. It's like six and six or something like that. It's quite a few, though. Any more sticks around here, or do I have to chop down a tree? I'd prefer to not chop down a tree. There they are. This is like the edge of the island they're all hiding on. They're like, no, don't use my body to fashion yourself a bed. It's so ogreish of you. And I'm like, yeah, I do feel like I'm kind of the bad guy in Jack and the Beanstalk right now. Beating up on sticks that can't defend themselves and grinding your bones to make my bed. But let's see here. I think we have enough. I think we have enough, and I don't think you need a hammer in order to craft the bed from what I recall. It's a couple episodes ago, and my memory's not so good, but... I think. Can I make a bed? No, I can only make a campfire. More sticks! Mm, I can only make a campfire. Let me see what I'm missing right now. I know that I'm missing something, and I have a dual screen, so as I always say, if you've got a dual screen and you're recording, you might as well jump on in there and see how to make the bed. It is... Oh, palm fronds. We need palm fronds. That's unfortunate. Can I chop? Well... Is it even worth it? We're already like halfway through the night. So part of me is worried that this is even going to be worth like the effort. But we might be here for a while. There's a lot of boats, so I think making the bed's probably a decent plan for right now. Let me chop down this tree. We'll take the top off of it. I'm not going to chop it all into sticks or whatever, but we are going to take the top off real fast. 
Speaking of topping up, we'll be topping off in just a moment. There we go. And so we'll try and get this palm bunch over here. I find it weird that there's like, you can count them. There's like 10 palm fronds on the top of this, and then you only get four out whenever you destroy it. Does that bother anybody else? I don't know, little things like that. I prefer it to be the same number. Like when I chop this, the fact that 15 palm fronds spontaneously turn into four upsets me. Not like a lot. It's just kind of like a minor, hmm, I've run out of Hot Pockets type irritation. So it's not like a huge one, it's just kind of what it is. It is what it is. There we go. So now we can make a bed, put it right there, and then we shall sleep for the eve. Yeah, let's sleep. Fantastic. So now we're back on the job. I've dumped off all of our treasures over here. I am going to bring an axe with me. Just in the off chance the bad guys, i.e. the sharks, decide to get a little bit frenzied out here. We still got this ship. I think I got everything on that one, but we'll give it another go to just to make sure before we move on to other wrecks. We do have a very real opportunity right now, though, to increase our supply of just about everything. Another flare gun. I think we already have one, but it's useful. It's useful loot. I've heard rumors that every now and again you can see a plane that flies overhead. You can see like a passenger jet or something like that. And I'm wondering if the ultimate goal of this game is going to be for the character to get rescued and just like not stay here forever. Because some games they task you with surviving for as long as possible. I think it'd be interesting in this game to try and figure out a little bit like the escapists whether or not you could escape from this island coming up with a plan and like putting it into action and just kind of like putting the pieces together. It's something to focus the mind on, which you really, really need if you're in a situation like this. Ah, the lantern. That's what I really wanted. A carburetor. Okay. Cool. We got two carburetors. Why they're sailing with a cabinet full of carburetors, I'm not sure. Wasn't it in King of the Hill where Hank makes Bobby disassemble and reassemble a carburetor as a punishment over and over and over again because he hates it? I think I remember that from that show. I'm pretty sure he'd be like, you're going to reassemble and disassemble this until you've learned your lesson. Like, oh man, I actually love taking stuff apart. It's putting it back together that I'm not really so great at. I love disassembling things though. Love it. People used to call me dynamite at my old job because I could take anything apart. There we go. We've got a machete right there. We've got enough stuff. Let me dump it on the shore. The nice thing about the lantern now is that the lantern stays lit underwater, which means we can night dive. Like, that's actually a major, major advancement in our little technological race, because night diving is utterly impossible. It's pitch black down there until you have the lantern, and so now that we have it, it makes our life a little bit easier. It makes it a little bit easier. Not a lot of bit, but a little bit. So the paddle over there, machete, you can go over there. We've got ourselves another flashlight. I will keep that. We've got the carburetors. What part is this? part four of four of the parts to an engine and so at this point we've got a fuel tank we've got a carburetor we've got a motor we're missing one thing once again I don't even know if the engine is in the game or if it's craftable I might be doing this all for no real reason but I'm hoping it's in the game I sincerely hope that it's in the game it'd be great if it was because it's a payoff for like all this adventuring that we're doing oh good another machete we should be in a really good spot after we get all these boats taken care of. We should really want for nothing for quite some time. Let me dive down real fast and see what's going on here. Or maybe something useful. Maybe. Nah, we'll surface. It looks like we're about done here. I am going to give the inner cabins one more quick toodaloo through. So let's go over here. Check this. Make sure I didn't leave anything behind. It looks like all the cabinets that I'm used to are opened up and ready to go. Okay. Was there one on the wall right there? Okay, I thought there was one maybe at the intersection of the wall right there, but there wasn't. So now we'll go back down, check this one. I like to double, I'm going to check and double check it because it seems like people get frustrated with me when I forget things. So I'm going to try and hit everything right now. We're a little bit hungry. No lesson learned. No lesson learned. Well, let's hit this boat too while we're here. Just to make sure that I haven't gone foobar here and left some stuff behind. I thought I saw a tool chest right there. Sometimes tool chests can get caught up in the collision of like the random coral and stuff like that. It just kind of like stays there. Nothing in the cabinet, nothing in the chest. Okay. So that means that down on the bottom deck we're good. Top deck, what do we have up here? Anything that we want? Another paddle, another fuel tank. I'll bring these back with me, I guess, and just add them to the pile so that if I want to make a number of runs in between episodes to move things back around, I can do just that. 
I don't know why you're in such a feeding frenzy, man. He's like, well, you know how you get hungry. I get like a little, I have a little meat or two that needs to be satiated. And unfortunately, I haven't sated it recently, and I'm going to die of hunger if you don't allow me to bite you just one time. Your health comes back. Be a pal. It'll come back in like five minutes. Just let me bite you that one time. Just one little nip. Oh, I got you with the machete. See, that's why you don't mess with a guy with a machete. That's why you don't do it. Shark, you're really looking to make me have an excuse right now, aren't you? I don't want to hurt my aquatic friends. I really don't, but you seem to be dead set on just turning this into a murderous relationship between the two of us. All right, so what do we have here? We got our lantern. Throw that over there. Got our paddle. I see no reason to carry around the axe if we've got a machete. I like fighting with the machete for some reason. I don't know. It's the most weapon-like of everything else that you can pick up in the game. I think that's why. I would like to drop you. We'll drop you. So we've got a lot of stuff right now. Like, this is a pretty good pile of things. Even the crabs are gathering around like, that's a pretty good treasure haul right there, man. We've been living on this island for a long time. And it's, it's pretty rare that anybody brings back as much good stuff as you do. <laughs> Thank you, crabs. Thank you. It's the first time I could ever say that I'm happy to have crabs on my side. Let me get my machete out for right now. The shark will swim away if you hit him with the machete. That's the only reason why I always carry a weapon while I'm swimming around. Didn't we have to come up here to eat or something like that? Oh, yeah. We had to get some vittles. Let's see if we can find any of these goodies up a tree. There it is. Got a couple of those things that I like to shove in my mouth for right now. Mm -mm -mm. Coconut. I'd be okay on an island if I could eat coconut all the time. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Especially if you cover it with chocolate. Yep. Like Almond Joys and stuff. Or is that the other one? Is it Mounds that has the coconut in it or is it Almond Joy? I think they both do. It's just one has an almond in it and the other one doesn't, as far as I recall. My candy memory is not so amazing right now. I love candy, though. I really, really love candy. I've got a sweet tooth that is absurdly large. I was born into the right generation. I mean, if you think... I have trouble... Like, you think about Europeans, like, back in... Basically, bef back before they found, like, all the tropical locations during, like, the dawn of exploration. They didn't have chocolate or anything like that. And even once they did have it, it was, like, a commodity that no one else was allowed to have. I find that to be kind of crazy. I couldn't live without it. I need it. Like, it has to be in my house at all times. I'm a chocoholic, and I'll admit to it freely. I don't go to meetings, because, eh, I'm not a quitter. Let's go ahead and get rid of this coconut right here. There we go. We'll get rid of this one. In all serious, though, right now, I'm about to, like, start cutting weight. Like, it's just this thing that I do, like, once a year. Every time I get to the holidays, I'm a runner, and I like to weight lift, too, in my free time, so. I got, like, a little, like, flat tire thing going on right now around the bottom of my tummy. The holiday season was rough on me. I gained like 15 pounds. I do it every year. And then after that, I just kind of like have to have to hustle a little bit harder to get rid of it. I don't like need to. It's just like, eh, it's something to work on. It's something to focus the mind on over the course of the coming weeks. And so that's mostly why I do it. Where There were some bubbles over here. I saw them. Damn it. Let's go up a tree. It might be, ah, and the fog bank's going to roll in. All right. Well, since the fog bank is here... I think I see a chest right there in the bottom of that. So let's go ahead and we'll go back down the tree. We'll try and get the stuff that's readily available. I'm not trying to get lost right now, especially since I left my compass back in the pile over there. So there you go. Was there anything over here? Yeah, tool chest. Okay. I would think that you might be able to salvage a little bit of metal out of some of these things too. And I couldn't pry. Hey, more flippers. Do they stack? Like, can I be like triple flippered? That'd be amazing. That'd be the best thing ever. Like five pairs of flippers on one foot. Be like, look how long and glorious they are. I'm like a goldfish. A lovely, wonderful goldfish. Well, seeing as we're not finding anything, I'll break off the episode right here till the fog bank goes away. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stranded Deep. I look forward to seeing you all in the future. Take care out there, everybody. And as always, hi do.